What were you, what were, what were you saying about this grease? It's free lotion. It's free hand lotion? Yeah. Yeah. Well, while well, you're in here, will you do my dishes? No. Okay. Fine. fishing I think they yeah they still call it pure fishing you know the Berkeley all the Berkeley stuff we have yeah. it's all made right in there yeah. yep. cool look at. I think they used to we actually have a subscriber that retired from there really? yeah Curtis spelled with a C or spelled right he always used to give me stress on comments what kind of person eats breakfast at 1045 or eats lunch at 10.45. I can't believe that. McDonald's, I'm deeply disappointed in you. I thought they stopped at like 11. That's all right. We should have got an early start, but we didn't get into the motel to what? One o'clock in the morning? I think it was why it was one. All right, now we need to go all the way back to where we were and run into the bait shop, grab a couple things, and then we will go get on the lake. That sound all right to you, buddy? Yeah. Must have been kind of hungry, man. You're already munching. the manos doing bud splashing splashing <sighs> I wish the bait shop would have been a little bit more informative as in had any information whatsoever when you pull into a bait shop your first your first thing buddies you look for the oldest person there and that's usually who gives you the information on everything but I think everybody there was maybe 20 I think if we go past that dark shack right there and then we angle I think there's a road the road goes out to it we are going to run out of here on the ice to, we're on Emerson Bay right now in West Okaboji. Roll her down, buddy. There, we're driving on ice right now, guys. You hear it? First time you ever drove on this lake, Troy, we were in Grandpa's pickup. Mm -hmm. And I drove on, on this lake with my four-wheeler, too. Yeah, you had your four-wheeler out on this lake. We got a ticket that day. Yes, I did not have your four-wheeler registered.
how deep that is. Hey Dad, isn't this weird not setting up in the wind? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that Nebraska wind was kind of brutal, wasn't it? Uh huh. There you go, buddy. That's about perfect. Okay. Yeah. A little chilly out, isn't it? But the bad part about having an Iowa farm pond scoop that you have there is going to take a little bit to get all the ice and slush out of it. <laughs> but I promise you, when you do and your eyes adjust, you'll see everything. They get it all out. Just nice and slow. All right, uh, the best part about coming up here to the Iowa Great Lakes to fish is you can bring a Vexlar. You don't need a camera. You can bring a Vexlar and bring everything. But let me tell you this right here. I talked to a gentleman in a few videos ago that was talking about uh, that was talking about how he uh, um, he's the one that told us where to go pike fishing while we were out in Nebraska. Let's go with that. He said he brought his kids to the Great Lakes to teach them how to sight fish. Sight fishing is once everybody's eyes adjust. And we get these holes cleared out, I'll show you what sight fishing is. I should have started off the video with telling you guys what was going on, but what ended up happening is yesterday, this is a new day, yesterday we were fishing out there in Valentine, Nebraska. Um, we had caught five fish in four days, and we were getting a little bit, I was getting a little bit frustrated. Um, we did get little bud into some uh, two nice pike, and that last time we left you yesterday, he caught that pike, and that was after two and a half, three hours of sitting there. That was the only fish that we seen. Um, I goofed up. You know, I threw a little temper tantrum with that tent thing. And that's when I decided we're done. We got to get out of here. I asked Troy, I go, do, do we want to go try a different lake out there? And uh, he was kind of unsure about it a little bit as well as I was. So we decided let's bail. We bailed out at five o'clock yesterday. We drove to Spirit Lake, Iowa. That's where we're at right now. And, uh, yeah, we got here about 12.30, 1 o'clock in the morning. 314 miles. No, no, no. 372 miles. 372 miles. 372 miles. We left, and we got here probably, I think it was a little bit after midnight, or a little bit around midnight, a little bit after midnight. Um, it was time to go, wasn't it? This is what I like about ice fishing. This right here. Um, nothing against Nebraska. It just, it's an off year out there in the wise of snow. And that makes, when you don't have snow on the ice, that makes, that makes the ice fishing rough. Makes it very rough. Like right now we have all this snow in here. Heck, this you, thing's on low and it's yeah. negative what? It's negative 20 degrees wind chill out here. The heater's on low. Um, the snow is a beautiful insulation. It's just easier to walk on. It's easier to set up a tent. It's easier to get stakes in the ground. It's easier to do everything. So that's that's just why I like the snow. This isn't a completely different setup. We got to drive to our holes. Um, we're going to cook lunch right out of the pickup, right beside our tent. I'm a lot happier. Are you happier, bud? Mm -hmm. Now we just got to catch some fish? Mm -hmm. Alrighty. I don't know though, man. Those pike you caught were awesome. I can't stop looking at the pictures. Yeah. They were exciting. Did you like reeling them in? Mm hmm. These fish aren't going to be as fun reeling in, but hopefully we get more fish. Hopefully. We'll see. All right, you see that down there? That's the bottom, guys. That's my lure. That lure is 10 feet deep right now. You can see the, the lake there's right fish. here. Oh, the there's. Bottom, at the bottom, at yep, the I see him. Those are perch. He's not interested. Go down. Are you right by him? He left. I got two over here. Would you say a little bit, Gil? You could spend all day here? Yeah. Oh, okay. All right. Good to know. Good to know. On this one, because it's some source of entertainment. It gives you something to watch, doesn't it? It does. 
You don't even need that fancy Vexlar there, do you? You can still use it. I'm not telling you you can't use it, bud. You can still use it. It's huge. So what we just got here is we were uh, <laughs> fishing through visual, just watching the fish, and we just switched Troy's lure over to a smaller lure to catch some perch. And then, can um, I say it? Yeah. I saw, okay, I got it down and instantly saw this huge pike just come strolling through going after the um, we don't have to shush i'm sorry going after the um uh smaller perch that passed by it was huge i it was crazy it was nice i looked in there and i seen the tail, tail. of it so what we're gonna what i'm going to do is i'm gonna throw a leader back on and i am going to throw a uh smelt. a smelt on and see what we can get going there. Now that I know the pike are here. Because that thing was huge, guys. That would have been a... That would have been maybe almost 30, 30 yeah. inch. You think it was that big, bud? It wasn't. It, it, when it was going by, it took a good 10 seconds yeah. for us to get out of visual. Yeah, I can't tie any faster. That is, uh, that's Kurt with it. Spelled correctly, always in the comments. Curtis. But he spells it correctly, he always tells me. We did a live, and uh, he's seen the live, bud. I'm glad we did that live. He don't even need a road with that thing. No, no, he's got a Jeep. He doesn't need a road anywhere. That thing will go through about anything. But uh, um, he is going to run back to his house, get his side-by-side, -side, get his ice fishing gear. And uh, he fishes up here all the time, so he's going to run around the lake here into his normal spots and see what's going on, see how everything's going. I always tell you guys YouTube has been nothing but helping me and once again thanks Curtis really do really really do appreciate it that's one heck of a good guy right there You can turn the heater back on in there, bud. Yeah, I shut it off when we got out. is all foggy now there you go it's a good-looking bluegill right there
Alrighty guys, there it was. That was our fishing trip. It was a lot of fun. I enjoyed it immensely. I loved being able to get Bud into his first uh, pike and then his second pike. I got to see pike come through the ice. I've never gotten to see that before. Um, today was kind of, uh, it was a fun day. We drove out onto the ice. We parked right beside our tent. We got to sight fish everything. We got to see everything we wanted to see. Um, unfortunately, we only caught one bluegill. But it was fun. But it was fun. I really enjoyed this spot. Yeah. The Iowa Great Lakes are, are really nice in the winter. I love coming here in the winter. During the summer, they're a little bit too chaotic for me, so I don't come during the summer. Summer. So the 370 miles coming over, well worth it. Well, well worth it. Um, as for camping in the pickup, will I winter camp in the back of the pickup? Sure, for one day. I don't think I could do an, a multiple multiple trip out of it. You know, I don't think I could do days upon days because when we got to that motel last night, boy, that sure felt nice. I really enjoyed that, that motel. It was nice to get in, take a shower, get cleaned up, and actually relax from the day. So maybe if I go winter camping again, either I'm going to get a, a, a large tent with a stove in it, or I might just pull the camper out. You know, I have that big camper at home. We could just use that. Or we just rent a motel. Because camping definitely made things cheap. And, you know, i seen on a couple videos, you know, that we're spending some money out here. And no, we're not. The camping actually was free. The only lodging we spent was uh, for um, this motel we stayed in last night. It's a success. I'm, I'm super happy me and Troy got to do it. And I'm thinking another fishing trip probably in May up to Devil's Lake, North Dakota. Because I think I have somebody addicted to pike. Yeah. That was fun to reel in. The fight, wasn't it? It was the fight. Yeah. But just like any fishing trip you go on, you're going to different lakes. And when you're Iowa, farm pond, raised, and true, I mean, Sunday. In two days, we're going to head out to, to the farm ponds, and we're going to hit the farm ponds hard just because we need, to reel, we need to remember that we are good fishermen. We are excellent fishermen. I mean, we made this whole trip pretty darn good, and the reason we didn't catch fish was not because of lack of trying. We tried our butt off. We did. We really did. All right, I'm going to get my food here at Arby's, and we're going to hightail it home. we got about a, 94 miles to go. We are in Spencer, Iowa right now getting food because well i'm hungry you guys stay safe and as always i'll see you next time but real quick first class is going to be back up and going so we are going to get back in the truck everything went a-okay with her anything mm -mm. all righty you guys stay safe as always i'll see you next time bye